Hi there, Erica Swarthy Daisy here. Um, I want to show you something that I discovered while long pressing my home button on my Note 3. So I showed you in a previous video how to clear out previously opened apps. Of course, if you want to search, you can press that and you can decide which action you want to use. But I was really fascinated by something I had been passing up and I've not had the phone a year yet, but I've done a lot of things on it and I don't know how I missed this, but when you click here on the left, there's like a pie chart. It gives you a bunch of settings that um, are on the phone for easy access. And it really, it's cool because it shows you pretty much the heartbeat of the phone, what's going on. Uh, when you press this first one, it shows which... Uh, applications are active right now and if you want to end them and say I press end on this it'll give you a nice little hold on here we go a little warning it says if you force stop an app it may cause errors so I'm just going to cancel but it may or may not happen it's just giving you a general warning and when you go to the next tab that's the download tab and you can pretty much uninstall apps directly from there. But it shows you all the uh, apps that you previously uh, downloaded. So I think that's pretty neat and nifty to access. There's a ROM or RAM, either way you say it, uh, manager. So it gives you the status of your RAM here. And there's some verbiage, verbiage that you can definitely check out on your own device. And then the clear cache. I had a video before um, that showed how you can clear cache, you know, a separate way. But this is another way to access it a little quicker. And here are some of the main sources that you might want to consider clearing the cache for. Perhaps your contacts, media storage, TouchWiz, Home, Video Player, and Chrome. Because I imagine these uh, probably use up a whole lot of um, space on phones. And then, of course like we started out with the storage. Of course, I have an SD card in mind, so that shows how much is used so far, so I still have a long way to go. Then, of course, the system storage on the actual phone, how much space I have. So that's it. I wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was a really neat way to access a lot of your um, system's functionings, like just by a couple touches of a button. Thanks for watching. Bye.